Welcome to the presentation on the Population and Migration Estimates, April 2022. My name is Cahal Darty, and I'm the Demography Statistician in the CSO. Just a short note before we present today's results on the comparability between these results and the preliminary Census of Population 2022 results that were published in June. Today's results use a usual residence population definition, whereas the Census uses a de facto definition of population. The census results published in June were 23,500 persons higher than the results presented today. This is to be expected due to the difference in population definitions. Now, moving on to today's results. Immigration stands at 120,700 in the year to April 2022. This is up on 65,200 in the previous 12 months. Over the same period, Emigration was at 59,600 in the year to April 2022, up on 54,000 in the previous 12 months. These combined components lead to net migration of 61,100 in the year to April 2022, up on 11,200 on the previous 12 months. Natural increase to April 2022 stands at 27,700, up on 22,800 in the previous 12 months. Combining these effects leads to a population change of 88,800 in the year to April 2022, up on the population change of 34,000 in the previous 12 months. This gives a population of just above 5.1 million in the year to April 2022. In 2021, the population surpassed 5 million for the first time since 1851, and the population increase of just below 89,000 persons gives a population of just above 5.1 million. Looking at the components of population change in more detail, and first referring to natural increase, we see that births in the year to April 2022 stood at 60,700, up on the total of 55,500 in the previous 12 months. Deaths are slightly larger than the previous 12 months, up 600 persons, and now stand at 33,300. This leads to a natural increase of 27,700, driven by the increase in births. Births have been declining in the previous 10 years, and the increase seen between 2021 and 2022 was the first increase since 2010. Births increased by 9% in the year to April 2022. So moving on to inward migration, um, in the year to April 2022, it is estimated that 120,700 persons arrived to live in Ireland. This is an increase on the previous 12 months where 65,500 inward migrants arrived, and the year before, 85,400 inward migrants arrived to live in Ireland. This is driven by um, rest of world inward migrants, which include non-EU and non-UK persons, including Ukrainians. This stood at 63,000 in the year to April 2022. When we look at outward migration, there were 59,600 outward migrants in the year to April 2022. This is up on a total of 54,000 in the previous 12 months. 27,600 of these migrants were Irish nationals, up on the total of 22,800 from the previous 12 months. Therefore, net inward migration stood at 61,100 in the year to April 2022. This is driven by non-Irish nationals at a total of 59,800 in the year to April 2022. Irish nationals stood at 1,300 in the year to April 2022. This is an increase on the net migration in the previous 12 months, which stood at 11,200. In the year to April 2022, the UK proved itself to be a popular location for migration flows. 14,200 persons left Ireland to live in the UK, down from 18,200 last year, while 16,100 persons moved to Ireland from the UK, down from 19,100 in 2021. Now looking at Ireland's changing population structure, those aged 65 plus were the only age group to see an increase in their population share between 2016 and 2022. The percentage of the population aged 65 and over in 2016 was 13.3% compared with 15.1% in 2022. 
This is a volume increase of 139,100 persons. Between 2016 and 2022, there was an increase of 226,000 persons in the traditional working age group. This is those aged 15 to 64. However, this led to a slight decrease in population share, dropping from 65.5% in 2016 to 65.3% in 2022. In the youngest age group, 0 to 14, there was a decrease in the population share between 2016 and 2022, dropping to 19.6% from 21.2%. Dependency ratios are a useful measure of age structure. They look at persons aged 0 to 14 and 65 plus as a percentage of those aged 15 to 64. In 2022, Ireland's older dependency ratio was 23.1%. This means that Ireland had almost 4.3 persons of traditional working age for each person aged 65 and over. Across the EU27, the older dependency ratio was 32% in 2020, a ratio of 3.3 persons. All regions showed some population increase between 2021 and 2022. The Dublin population increased by 25,000 persons to April 2022. This is up on 8,300 that was seen in the previous 12 months. The population of Dublin now stands at just above 1.45 million persons, which is 28.4% of the population of Ireland. To finish, we look at the estimated population by nationality. The proportion of Irish nationals in the population stands at 86.2% compared to 87.1% of the total population in April 2021. The proportion of the population who are non-Irish nationals now stands at 13.8% to April 2022 compared with 12.9% to April 2021. That's the end of the presentation. If you wish to get further information or more detailed breakdowns over time, please look at the Population and Migration Estimates release page and the PXStat tables. Thank you.